TFC starting 11. Three changes after the defeat to Charlotte FC. A makeshift backline, the headline here. Yeah, a couple big shifts. You know, the biggest of which is with Shankalai dropping to the bench, and Caleb Porter is instead put in a 19 year old. Byra Terevich comes back into the lineup. In the Eastern Conference, the Reds just want to get back into the conversation. So away we go. A problematic path for both thus far in a campaign riddled with injuries and disdain. Not for his defensive abilities, but more of that, that structure as far as just waiting for those opportunities, understanding that Insigne was going to be able to take advantage of it. Suddenly you have to stretch yourself looking for goals, and that's where the defensive part comes. Leagues Cup or CONCACAF Champions Cup against some opponents that maybe haven't been quite up to the standard. And The other end of things is Awusu. Rounding the goalkeeper, and Owusu touched to one side by Ravis. Has to go down as the first genuine opening here at BMO Fields. Carlos Keel manoeuvres forward for New England Revolution. Here's Spalding. Spalding with a decent looking ball in, but cleared away completely towards the edge of Gals. It's Carlos Heel! And straight into the grasp of Sean Johnson. Carrying a yellow card as well. Oh, Ravis has made a real mess of this. It's opened up here for Osorio, and Toronto FC can't take advantage. Toronto FC being able to get numbers behind him. There's Bernadeschi on the far flank. And Toronto finds something here, long stop in support, and Bernadeschi let fly. And a rather routine save for Henry Gravas in goal. He's able to find his way out of it, but Ravas has looked shaky. There's a Wusu. Wusu across. Franklin showing an interest, and Farrell there to repel. Falls now to Flores! It's really gathered by Ravas. The immediate concern may very well come from the left foot of Federico Bernadeschi. It's Bernadeschi! Just wide! <laughs> Bernadeschi's ball in. Spalding showed an interest. There's Lashed forward by Spicer into the grasp of Ravas. He hasn't had a goal all season, has had a number of opportunities, has not been able to make the most of them. The other end, here is Giacomo Brioni! By a deflection, Johnson able to repel. Caught up for New England. Keel with the ball in, heads go up, and nudged away by Rolstead. Across goal, it goes! Fabulous intervention! Right in the nick of time, Nixon Gomez arriving for Toronto FC. Yeah, but this is the difference where you would need that overlap from Dewan Jones and Spalding. Now only just recognized. Oh, Hill on the side by Sean Johnson this time. Good grasp onto the pass. Rektarovic now forwards. And a real opening here for New England Revolution. And it's a sensational save from Sean Johnson. Giacomo Brioni unable. Kessler flashing the ball into the sky. Spicer gets a hold of it, and perhaps an opening here for TFC. Spicer's ball across, just behind the Wusu, and only as far as Osorio! Another routine save once again from Ravas. Spicer thumping forwards. Spalding re-entering the phrase you can see at the bottom of your screen. Some defending to do as Owusu gets closer to goal. Longstaff, Longstaff across goal and Spalding there to intervene. Marshall Rutty and Owusu! Oh, wow! Where on earth did that come from? Three goals in two games! And from out of the blue, into a rack of company he goes! See the cut back to Longstaff is on and he does well to shimmy free there and the clearance from Spalding just puts him in danger and it's right across the frame from Jaquil Marshall Rutti who gives Owusu a chance but it's a poor clearance from Spalding who just came back on the pitch but what a finish there from Owusu who throws his body at it is able to get that foot almost behind his leg there it's squared across from Jaquil Marshall Rutti but this right leg behind his leg just tucks it in Behind Ravas, no chance, gets his fourth goal of the season. What a big one at that to put Toronto FC up 1-0 at home here. Marshall Rutty winning the ball back for the home side and flicking it forward into the path of Federico Bernadeschi. 
forward now for Marshall Rossi. Aluso waiting. It's a very good challenge from Farrell, but Marshall Rossi goes alone. Referee has caught a handball. Penalty. Break down the right flank and kill Marshall Rutti. He's able to get in behind and they might want to have a look at this one here. I see Andrew Farrell making the challenge. But for me, this comes off the leg here and then hits the back trailing arm as he's going to ground. You can see that looks like a good challenge for me with that back arm. And a chance for Federico Bernadeschi to score his first goal of the season. It's Bernadeschi! Saved by Ramos! Bernadeschi on the follow-up, unable to convert! Bernadeschi steps up, no goals on the season. He's been missing confidence and you can see there, it's an excellent save from Ravas. It's at the right height for him. The 6'5 goalkeeper stretches well to keep that top hand, that right arm to it. Here's Andrew Farrell. Still England back in possession. Will be one the targets. Into the path of Chankalai. Chankalai, good save by Sean Johnson again. Can New England snatch an equaliser? Lehman's ball in. Mark Anthony K. Rose, Bartay back in, and it's towards goal and cleared away by Bernadeschi of all people. And Spicer doing the rest. And with that victory, a humongous win, a corner turning win for John Herdman and Toronto FC.